Morning guys. So today I'm working on a cobalt uh, shop back. And the problem was it was overheating, so the fuse uh, blew, which um, cannot be reset, so you actually have to swap it out. Um, I'll show you here in a second. Um, the unit has been taken apart. Most of the shop backs are very similar. Um, some have different fuses, but I'll show you what you guys um, can see here and how to can fix it permanently. Continuity is there. The problem where it starts is, and I hope I can do that with one hand here without dropping everything. This is interrupted, as you can see. There, it's interrupted. Um, the problem there is there's a thermal fu fuse in here, and this one burned through because it got too hot. Um, this is another motor which I took apart uh, from a buddy of mine. And so what I've done is actually a short unit here because this unit is definitely, as you can see, there's a plastic housing to it. So it sits within the shop vac like this. So you cannot access what's underneath that cover. And so what I've done is just shorten the circuit there, um, which is right here with solder. Uh, I use silver solder, so not just only pure electric. So this is shortened period, and what I do instead, I put a thermal fuse, which you can buy off Amazon or eBay for like two bucks each. Um, I just put it onto one of these connectors because these two connectors are the ones which go into your switch. So as long as you have the thermal uh, fuse here, you don't burn up your, your motor. And so I'm going to put this one connected here with an extension lead so it's right next to the block of the motor, so it can still takes the heat but you have much easier access um, to actually change it out and to fix it because it's just with leads just pretty much clipped in no soldering required because I use a crimping tool so you can change it out I later on show you guys how I've done it but that's pretty much it so you can repair those don't throw those out they're easy repairable as I said earlier and um, with half an hour to an hour time of, of your time and the part um, you just need um, T25 um, screw head for your screwdriver or for your impact um, wrench and so to take these screws out which are in most shop vacs used and then two Phillips which holding the motor in place and yeah crimping tool soldering iron and the fuse to replace it and you pretty much saved yourself a hundred bucks there so here's the fuse i just took it out and you can see there's some splatter on this wire which is a high indicator that something got burned and overheated but you can see here on this side uh, let, let me show the other side first so here you see the thermal contactor wire which Hopefully it's there we go. So that one is there intact. It's still attached to this lead. But as you see on the other side it already came out because it got burned through. So this one actually burns through as soon the temperature is going over 120 degrees Celsius. Uh, which is boiling point but not high enough to destroy anything inside of the motor. Um, so I'm gonna just put a new one in place here, just wire it differently. I'll show you how I'm gonna do that in a second and how I've done it. All right, guys, so the fuse is installed. So I sorted here the wire together, use a little bit of wire just so that it holds the copper wire here in place so it doesn't flop around. Um, I have one clamp here. Here's the new thermal fuse in protected by some heat shrink tubing which I used sorry for the camera being shaky I do this with one hand here and so this is now connected in before it hits back to the switch so that fits the purpose sitting in here on the side tucked away still close enough to the engine so it absorbs the heat but if this breaks you can just simply uh, take it and disconnected so it's just with connectors being held together but that's pretty much it uh, reassemble it and 
back to business.